All right, I'm here. Are we ready to do this? Not yet. Joe hasn't joined us. No point. It's only 11 in the morning. His sleepy ass isn't even awake yet. Well, shit. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. Jill was making me a sandwich. What's up? Gentlemen, we're going to rank the Resident Evil games. Whoa, there's a lot of them. I'm not sure I have the time. Are we pushing into your nap time there, Sleepy Joe? No, I have a country to run, you idiot. Plus, it's not noon yet. Guys, it'll be fine. We'll just do the core ones for now. Any of them with a number should suffice. Okay, good. I'm okay with that for the sake of time, but you better include Code Veronica. That goes without saying. Code V was my shit back in my PS2 days. Obviously, now let's get started. Hold on a second. We're starting in order of release date, right? Can you remember that far back? Fuck you, Donald. Yes, we'll start with the OG 1996 Resident Evil, a masterpiece. A tier. The Godfather of Survival Horror. Easy. I agree, A. Now hold on. What? Shit. With the original? Why? Take your nostalgia glasses off for a second, you two. The dialogue was straight trash. Even earning it a spot in the Guinness Book for worst video game dialogue back in 2002, which it still holds to this day. It wasn't that bad. Of course you'd think that. Is the writer the same one who jots down all your speeches? Eat my presidential ass, Donald. The dialogue did kill the immersion, I'll admit. But the gameplay was still atmospheric and spooky. The gameplay was an Ohio train wreck. Clunky controls and tight corridors is like moving a fridge through a hallway. Fine. For the sake of time, we'll split the difference and put it down to B tier and move on. B for bullshit. I don't like it. Still too high. Next up is 1998's Resident Evil 2. Here we go. A tier for sure. I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. I would even say S tier. It was really a well-rounded sequel. Top. For once, I agree with Sleepy Joe. It took all the good things from the first one, what little there was. God damn you. And improved it. Dialogue, gameplay, atmosphere. Even having the story split into two different parts with multiple endings. I did get confused with which ending was canon, though. It doesn't take much to confuse you, Joe. Fuck off, Orange Slice. Okay, then I'm moving it to S tier. Cool. Fine by me. Moving on to 1999, Resident Evil Nemesis. What do you guys think? Again, a solid game. Only a year later and Capcom releases a straight up banger. They were on fire. An entire city to run around with zombies everywhere. Screams echoing in the distance. Revisiting the RPD. Chills. Nemesis was a scary mofo too. Popping up randomly unscripted, unlike Mr. X from RE2. No cap. The big fucker carried a rocket launcher in the streets like it was nothing. The most American thing you can do in my opinion. All good points, gentlemen, but to be honest, I didn't like the choice system. And the dodge mechanic made the game's combat slightly easier, making it not as tense. Jill Valentine is an elite cop with a certain set of skills. Of course she'd be able to dodge whenever she wanted. I'll agree that the path choosing was a little stale. Fine, A tier then. Yeah, A. Good, now to 2001's code, Veronica. Fuck yes, Claire, back in action in her own game. I spent hours on this gem. And we're finally out of Raccoon City. Rockford Island was a good setting with half of it in a prison and the other half in Gothic architecture, all on an island to give you a feeling of isolation. The PS2's graphics did wonders for the cinematics in this game. And seeing Wesker fight with his new powers, I creamed. Fucking sick. Gross. Whatever, the man's an icon. Got his ass beat by a mutant woman, though. True. Fake news, you sleepy fuck. He did a tactical withdrawal. The man is a supreme strategist. Look, I'll admit that it was a graphical improvement at the time, but did you forget about those shitty, stretchy arm fucks that would hit you off screen? Oh, right, I forgot about those. It also had one of the weirdest characters in the series. It's 2023, Joe. You can't call Alfred Ashford weird anymore? Not him. Steve Burnside. What about him? This edgy motherfucker was constantly a hindrance to Claire, giving her attitude in almost every scene. He had more emotional baggage than Donnie did after losing the Oval Office. Fuck you, Joe. That shit was rigged and Steve was crushed about his dad. Oh, you mean this? Father. 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 <laughs> Cringe. Sorry, Donnie, but I got to side with Joe on this. Bullshit. The graphics and gameplay were great and the new location is a breath of fresh air. But with the cringiest character in the series, I'll put it into B tier. Alongside that Roblox looking motherfucker, you gotta be kidding me. Deal with it, bitch. Take the L. Moving on, we're back on to hitting some high tier ones here, starting with 2002's RE remake. This was lit. Facts. What? Excuse me? You shitted on the OG. Stop crying, baby Joe, and listen. They took what was garbage about the original and made it better. Graphics, gameplay, and environment. 
They not only redid the dialogue and improved it, but also added the crimson head zombie to avoid being a stale ass piece of shit. Those things made me shit my pants. No, that was your old age. Shut the fuck up, orange man. Lock yourself in a tanning bed some more. I have to agree with Don on this one, Joe. The graphics alone are enough to put it into S tier. Added with the new defensive weapons and Lisa Trevor miniboss, this game did the OG respect. George Trevor was a great architect. I could have used a man like him to build my wall. So we agreed it's S tier? Yes. Of course. Good, moving on to another golden one, Resident Evil Zero. Barry, I agree that it has the same appeal as the remake, but you cannot convince me that it is anywhere near as good. All the bosses are just jacked up animals and a reused asset for Tyrant. Don't even get me started on that fucking opera singer and his leeches. Hot garbage. It was still a good prequel to the OG. Trash. The queen leech didn't make any sense. How the fuck does a scorpion the size of flatbed truck jump on top of a train moving that fast? And how many times do we have to save Rebecca? Shut the fuck up, you rug-wearing bitch. I won't have you bad-mouthing Rebecca. She's top tier for me. I don't think she's that bad of a character. Isn't she a little too old for you, Sleepy Joe? Fuck off. Rebecca Chambers is the most underrated character in the whole series. She's the first to come across and defeat a tyrant by herself. She survived both the research facility and mansion incident, all while being the youngest in the Elite Stars unit. She even helped save the world in the Vendetta movie. Barry, we aren't talking about any of those shitty movies. Stick to the games. Besides, Shinji Mikami admitted that he liked Chambers the least out of all his female characters. He never even wanted to add her to the game. He did her dirty in the remake, not gonna lie. She's at least competent in Zero, but becomes a damsel in distress later on. Fuck the both of you and Mikami. Thank God they added her to DBD at least. D tier at most. That's a little harsh. The gameplay was still good, even with a secondary character running alongside you. It goes in high B tier, and that's the lowest I'll put it. Fight me. Fine, whatever. Let's move on. We're barely halfway. Next up is the GOAT, 2005's Resident Evil 4. Truth, no lie. Pump the brakes there, guys. The fuck? Joe, you gotta be kidding me. We're talking about Resident Evil fucking 4. Is he awake? Did he take his meds? Fuck you guys. I know what I'm saying. You both need to stop riding 4's bandwagon. This was a glorified escort quest with horror taking a backseat to action. Fuck you, Joe. It revolutionized not only the series, but the entire video game industry. The over-the-shoulder third-person gameplay rocked every company to the core, mixing it with action, suspense, and horror in a perfect blend. They even fixed the inventory system. Even the creators of Dead Space said they redid their entire game to model it after the way RE4 was made. They took out the zombies in a Resident Evil game and replaced them with parasites. This is the game that popularized quick-time events in the gaming industry. The story was trash. Sadler wants to inject Ashley with the parasite and let her go back to America, but then tries to stop them from leaving over and over again. Krauser's side story was shit, and need I mention the escorting again? Take Rebecca from the remake. Fuck you, Joe. And Steve from Code V. Go sniff some more hair, you sleepy fuck. And you get Ashley Graham. She was annoying as fuck and hard to protect. Skill issue. Get better, you old codger. I agree. Sounds like a you problem. The game is phenomenal from start to finish and has even ported more times than Skyrim. It goes into S. Obviously. I'll concede to A tier or else I'm dropping out and playing Minecraft with Bill. Fine. Let baby have his bottle. I don't like it, but whatever. We need to get this done. So up next is 2009's Resident Evil 5. I don't think you need to say the year anymore, Barry. Some of us can remember back then. Get yourself some better wigs and comebacks, Orange Man. Anyways, another co-op, but this time set in the daytime. And the shitty inventory system is back, but made even worse somehow. I'm inclined to agree. This one kind of flopped with me. Really, Barry? I thought with the location... Well, you know... What? Never mind. Get your brain checked, Donnie. Seems like you're huffing some of that spray tan you keep blasting yourself with. Shut up, Joe. At least I can walk up a simple flight of stairs. I told you I was tired that day. Anyways, I agree. This game was a huge letdown. It seemed that Capcom was trying to make lightning strike twice with this one and failed. They even reused the chainsaw miniboss. The only saving grace was my boy Wesker coming in again. Him teleporting like Nightcrawler made me spew everywhere, though. Fucking stop saying shit like that, but I can't lie, his theme song and fight scenes were lit as fuck. Too bad it was bogged down by quick time events. Yeah, thanks, RE4. Shut up with that, plus his master plan, literal chef's kiss. You would like that, you fat fuck. He lost to a rock-punching jarhead. Yet again, fake news. He ducked at the last second and will return once again. 
You guys just didn't notice because you don't have great eyesight like I do. I have the best eyesight probably in the world. Okay, then any objections if I put it into C tier? Nope. Seems fair. Okay, done. Now on to Resident Evil 6. Ooh, this one. Oh, right. I keep forgetting this one happened. Not too surprised, Sleepy Joe. It's a miracle you know what year it is. It's one where I'm still president, you grease stain. Gentlemen, focus. I think we can be unanimous in this one, right? The horror aspect was completely thrown out the window for a more action-oriented game. I have to agree with you on that, Barry. As much as I love action and the Second Amendment, this was too much. Too many campaigns. An excess of quick-time events. And don't get me started on Jake. If they wanted to use a Wesker, why not just stick with the man himself? But that's fine. He'll be back. Donnie, you're delusional. Eat me, bitch. Joe, you haven't said much. Call Jill. See if he fell asleep at the keyboard again. I'm awake, you idiot. Well, what's your input, Joe? On what? Jesus Christ. On RE6. Oh, right. To be honest with you guys, I don't really remember that one. I never could get past the train part on Leon's campaign. Jesus, Joe, are you serious? That's in the first hour of the game. I told you that QTEs are garbage. Fuck off. That's sad. Get better, Sleepy. But whatever, it goes into D tier. I'm okay with that. Same. All right, guys, now for another gem, Resident Evil 7. Now this one I remember. Shocking. I have to admit that the sudden shift into first person wasn't too bad of a switch for me. Plus, playing a normal person looking for his wife instead of being a cop or specialist of any kind was a nice change. Did it remind you of all the times you had to look for your wife when you get lost wandering around in the White House, you geriatric bitch? At least I'm still in it, fucknut. Focus, guys. RE7 was the first game to use the iconic RE engine. It did a full 180, switching out the action for complete horror and suspense, which is the jolt that was needed to bring this series back to life. Truly a banger. Unlike someone's idea for a healthcare plan. Fuck you, Donald. I agree, going back to its roots. I still wish that they'd keep zombies in the series. Not sure I like the mold, or whatever it is. It had a nice twist ending, though. And Jack Baker is seriously one of the most terrifying villains of the series. Facts, definitely a solid A tier. Agreed. High A at the least. Okay, good, high A. Let's move on to another great installment that I don't think anyone saw coming, the Resident Evil 2 remake. Holy shit, here we go. A game that would have won Game of the Year if Sekiro didn't come out that same year. Not gonna lie, this one was fun all around. Mixing the best parts of 4 and 7, but keeping it mostly about the horror was nothing short of genius. And Mr. X stalking you in the RPD randomly brought out 99 Nemesis vibes. Joe, you senile old man, did you forget five minutes ago? You don't get to shit all over 4 and then use its assets whenever you want, you waffling fuck. I can say whatever I want, I'm the president. This is what 4 should have been. Emphasis on the horror and no QTEs. They brought back the zombies, too, along with the added gore whenever you shoot them. Seeing a zombie's face shredded to pieces was especially satisfying. Hopefully it's what we'll get with the new remake coming out. I think we can all agree it's an S-tier product. I can live with that. Same here. Good, almost done, guys. Let's talk about the Resident Evil 3 remake. Jesus Christ, way to fumble on the five-yard line, Capcom. You were so close to a perfect game, but you had to trip along the way. D-tier, no question. I'm with Donnie on this one. It didn't have the impact that the second remake did. Plus, it was way too short. Now, hold on, guys. It wasn't that bad. Let's give it a chance. Barry, have you lost your mind? The removal of the graveyard and the clock tower. Adding that shitty resistance game that's irrelevant now. And don't get me started on what they did to Nemesis. Did him dirty like a dog. Turned him into a dog, too. What the shit was that? Look, the atmosphere was spot on. And even though they kept the dodge mechanic, they at least got rid of that choice system. Nemi is running around in hefty trash bags with a busted nose. He literally Kool-Aid mans his way into Jill's apartment the moment the game starts, and he never stops to give the player a break. They did the boy filthy, Barry. At least they gave more attention to Carlos. Not enough. Man needs a haircut looking like a hippie. D tier. D. It had better potential than six, guys. I'll concede to low C. Barry, for Christ's sake, they didn't even put mercenaries in it. Checkmate, bitch. Fuck. All right, fine. D tier and I hate you both. We spit the truth. Now let's finish this already. Okay, the last one is Resident Evil Village. A tier, final answer. Bullshit. They took out the zombies once more and replaced them with fucking werewolves and pseudo vampires made of flies for Christ's sake. You only have it that high because you wanted to clap Lady D's cheeks. Don't lie. Obviously, who's gonna doubt that? Joke's on you. She's only in the first two hours of the game. A true crime, I agree, but let's be real about this. The only scary part was the giant fetus boss and it was only done because of some hallucinogenic flowers. 
before and after that was a complete cakewalk. So the gameplay is still top tier and exciting. Finding treasures and exchanging goods with the Duke brings back the old feeling of four easily. Ethan literally uses a tank with infinite ammo. Campy as shit. I think you mean a true American, something you wouldn't know anything about. It's literally implied that Mia fucks him, having known he was a moldy dead guy the entire time. Disgusting. Is that not the same of what your wife does with you, Sleepy Joe, you ancient piece of shit? Go get showered on again, you bag of Cheeto dust. It goes down on B-tier, Donald, and that's that. You can't keep riding the hype on this one. Fuck you both in this list. It looks like dog shit anyways. I'm out of here. What a complete waste of my time. He'll probably want to recount in a couple days. You want to play some DBD? I need to get more Oryx cells to get a new killer. Nah, I gotta log off. It's almost noon and I'm getting tired. See ya. Why do I hang out with these idiots?